the solution for this example. So over here we're going to create an offset. Now the reference becomes important. I would like to use the year indicator and the month indicator. If I point over here as my reference, I'll just put dollar signs on. If I point there, then the rows it needs to drop is when it's in year one, we actually need it to stand still because we started at the reference point there. So we'd have to put in here, look there, and then to make it what the offset needs, we'd have to go minus one. So my preference then is let's rather, I'm going to go above and to the left, put the dollar signs, which means then I can tell it that the rows, it must just look at what year it's in. And the columns, it must just look at what months, it, what months it's in. This means that it'll start here, and for this one, go down one and across one and give us that answer. When we're in month two, it'll go down one and across two. So let's see if it works. So that's 6.8%. Let's copy it all the way across and now you can see it goes 6.8 percent and it seems to be correct that 7 percent corresponds with that and this one now because it's year two month one it's gone back here year two month one 13.6 13.6